Today I'm going to show you how to replace the chain on your Echo chainsaw. This model here is an Echo CS330 top handle chainsaw. It's like a limbing chainsaw. The chain on this one is uh, pretty well battered. It's a missing tooth right here and you can see that one of the rivets there is going to pop open pretty soon and the chain's going to go flying. So before something like that happens, it's best to replace the chain and avoid an accident. First thing you want to do is remove the two bar nuts and they are 10 millimeters in size. Now your cover's going to come off. And now just to remove the bar and the chain, just simply pull it back, grab the chain, and bring it over the bar. And just simply grab the chain and bring it in behind the clutch. You might want to wear some gloves if you don't want to cut yourself. Now while you've got the bar off, you may want to clean the oiler holes here. And you can also use compressed air and blow the holes here. Make sure you've got safety glasses and blow the top here and that'll clean the passageway for the oil to go through. The oil actually goes through this hole and it's open in there and it climbs up through this uh, groove here. So if there's any blockage in there, your chain's not going to get oil on it. This is the chain that I got for this saw. It's an Argon and it's a 91VG 052M 14 inch and when you buy a bar make sure that uh, it will say the manufacturers on the cover you can also look on the back to see the models that it covers and on this one here I can see CS330 and that's the chain I'm gonna put on there it is right here next insert your bar next grab the chain insert it behind the clutch and it's going to go on the sprocket. Insert it in the groove of the bar. You may have to push the bar back in order to be able to get the chain all around the bar. And then insert it like this. You can also tip the saw on the side like that if you find it easier to install it. Now it's time to install the chain brake cover. Now you're going to notice a pin here on the inside of the cover right here. That pin has to go in this hole here on the bar. So when you insert the cover, you want to line up the pin to go in here. And what that is, is the chain adjusting screw mechanism. You want to make sure it lines up in there when you put the cover on. So we're going to install our cover. Then you can take a peek inside and line up the pin to the hole. In order to do this properly, you may have to pull on the bar or loosen the adjusting screw right here. This is the adjusting screw here, so I'm going to loosen it. It's going to bring the pin back. You can see that the pin has moved a bit. There it looks lined up now. So now I'm going to line it up with the hole on the bar and push down. Next you want to install the bar nuts. Just tighten the nuts snug for now. Don't tighten them all the way as we're going to need to readjust the chain. So once you've got the saw down like this, just pull on the chain. What that's going to do is grab all the slack that is left. And with the bar nuts loosened a bit, you want to adjust your chain by either turning in the screw to tighten up the chain or turning it out to loosen the chain. In this case, we're going to turn it in until I see the chain tightening and you can see it's tightening up on the bar then move it over like this and pull it a bit and once you've got it fairly tight just tighten up the bar nuts again So this chain's good. Because it's a new chain, you may have to retighten it after a couple uses and just repeat the process, loosen the bar nuts and turn in the screw at about a quarter inch increments at a time 
to tighten up the chain. You don't want the chain too tight either. It's going to cause excessive wear and the saw is going to be gone.